The Z-Track method is used when administering intramuscular injections that may cause irritation or discoloration of the subcutaneous tissues. The site of the injection is usually in the gluteal muscle of the buttocks. Enter the exam room with the prepared syringe and greet the patient and verify his identity. Check the patient's chart for allergies, then explain the procedure and purpose of the medication. Give the patient disrobing instructions. Wash your hands and put on gloves. Position the patient and locate the injection site. Clean the injection site thoroughly and allow it to dry. Using sterile technique, remove the cap from the needle. Using your non-dominant hand, pull the skin and subcutaneous tissue to the side or downward about an inch to break the injection track after removing the needle. While maintaining traction on the skin, use your dominant hand to insert the needle into the skin at a 90 degree angle. Stabilize the needle while maintaining traction with the non-dominant hand. Move your dominant hand to the plunger and aspirate for five seconds and watch for a blood return. If no blood return is present, slowly inject the medication at a rate of one milliliter every 10 seconds. If you are injecting any irritating substance, allow the needle to stay in place for 10 seconds after the medication is injected to allow the medication to diffuse. While still maintaining traction on the skin with a non-dominant hand, smoothly remove the needle and then release the skin, allowing it to slide over the now interrupted injection track. Do not rub or wipe the skin after removal of the needle, as this can cause medication to seep to the skin surface and cause irritation. Slide the safety sheath over the needle and dispose of it in the appropriate container. Instruct the patient to put on his clothes. Remove your gloves, wash your hands, and document the procedure. Ask the patient to wait the appropriate amount of time and recheck the patient. Check for any signs of a local or systemic reaction. Notify the doctor right away if there are any concerns. Document the procedure and escort the patient out. The techniques for administering injections are extremely important. Improper injection techniques can result in infection and cause damage to nerves, blood vessels, and tissues. Be sure to master the skills needed to prepare and administer parenteral medications. And remember, it's important to be empathetic to your patients. After all, sometimes the patient is you.